Good morning, everybody. We're up early today, and I've decided we're gonna do a fresh bait versus artificial bait challenge. So I'm gonna throw around the jerk bait, and I'm also gonna use anchovies today. And we're gonna try and catch a keeper, and we're also gonna try and get the whole entire catch of a fish on a jerk bait for you guys. So let's get started. Here we have it, anchovies and the jerk bait. Man, he chased it here like three times. He looks like a good sized striper too. So sorry about the wind you guys. Hopefully you can hear me. Striker, that's a large mouth bass. I'll take it. <laughs> we'll take a largey. Heck yeah. Heck freaking yes. Guess it's a large mouth type of day. Look at that. Jerk bait. Right in the side of the freaking lip. Thought this was a striper chasing me. But nope. We got us a large mouth bass. Not a bad large mouth. It's probably like a pound and a half. Not ginormous. Heck yeah. I freaking love this lure. It's the Guggen Scout and it's in a gold color. I don't know the exact name of the color, but it's like a gold jerk bait. But we're gonna let this guy go. Alright. Set this rod down. Heck yeah. Thank you so much. a nice little striper. I don't know if he's a keeper or not. Oh my gosh, he actually might be a keeper. Heck yeah. Oh, I'm so far away from my measuring kit. Alright. Heck yeah. Look at that guy. It's a good looking striper. Heck yeah. Alright, let me run to my car and measure him and then we'll see if he's a keeper. That's 16 and a half. 16 and a half inches. Still an inch and a half too short. You guys keep giving me tips like pause it a little longer and that's what worked. Paused it for like five seconds and we got him. Heck yeah. Thanks for biting, buddy. I hit it right on the shore. He almost went out of the water for it. <laughs> Heck yeah. Chill. Chill. There, I'll show you guys real quick and then I'm gonna hit the, the pliers because I don't want any treble hooks in my hand. <laughs> Heck yeah. Feisty little fish. He's probably about a pound. Here is a better look of that bass that basically just smacked it like when it was almost top water and right on the shore, like right on the shore. I thought he was going to fly out of the water for it. So pausing, pausing that lure definitely helps. If any of you guys
guys have ever thrown a jerk bait, you know what I'm talking about. For those of you who haven't, definitely be like a little more patient with it and just pause it a little more. And they'll hit it. They'll hit it on the pause. All right, let's let this guy go. Thanks for biting, bud. Okay, revive him. There we go. On the jerk bait. Little tiny guy, but we got him. On the jerk bait again. Make sure y'all be really careful with these treble hooks because they're no joke. There we go. Little dink. Go get him, winner. get it eventually bud man this lure I I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put it down like like look at that they freaking love it I don't think I'm gonna be able to put it down I'm telling you Heck yes. We're gonna measure him just to make sure. I think he's probably 16, maybe 17, but I'm gonna double check. He's only 16, so we gotta keep fishing. So I'm gonna let this guy go, and hopefully this gives me hope that we might get a keeper. Hey everybody, we're back from the Delta. Um, let's just say the jerk bait put in the work and the fresh bait, I didn't catch anything. So artificial wins this challenge today. However, I'm still on the hunt for that keeper striper and I want to thank all of you guys for supporting me and sharing your tips and tricks. And until next time, keep on reeling and I'll see you all on the next adventure. Peace.